I like that. What's up guys? It's Dr. Crashel here, back with another Facebook Live. Today we're gonna to be talking about something really important that's come up numerous times this week, so I'm excited to chat about it. And that is, and again, we're keeping the low back theme uh, in the back of my mind, and I almost feel like I wanna say it's a, a month or something like that. But today we're gonna to be talking about how to fix your muscle pain permanently in a way where you can start to do it and it stays you know, fixed. And again, I always, trying to create content that's current and this week I've had a lot of people contact me and come in with issues that they've been having um, for a long period of time. And now, we need to start by talking about the obvious, which is most of the time when you're dealing with a problem, right, we deal with it from, from the outside, we deal, with it, we deal with it from the outside in. So you have, you know, a shoulder problem and you're gonna rub some lotion on it and you're gonna try to do something to it and there's nothing wrong with this approach but if we're looking to solve this problem and we're looking to solve it in a way that it's going to permanently stay solved, we actually have to reverse engineer this process and instead of starting from the most superficial from the outside, what we have to do is we have to go from the inside and out. Now, um, to pre-frame this, and you know, I, I hope I'm doing a good job of explaining this to you guys. There's, no, there's gonna be nothing romantic, nothing pretty, and nothing easy about this. It's going to take work, you know? And if you want to, if you're really interested in, in, in fixing the way that your body works, I don't wanna BS you. The truth of the matter is it's gonna take some work, okay? So let's take a look at, and I, I wanna give you the principles, right? You can go back, what I've done above me, I've linked to the three exercises that you can do for low back pain, which is the practical, example of what it, what it is that I'm gonna be talking about today, but I really want to give you the idea of this so you can apply it because I, I get it, you're listening to it, you, maybe you're not having low back pain, maybe you're having shoulder pain or somebody came in today and they were having elbow pain. So I want you to really understand the ideas because once you understand the principles, then you can go about applying it to other things. So the first thing that you want to do if you're having any type of pain whatsoever, you want to go as deep as possible, which is the actual joint itself. And you want to make sure that the joint works properly. So a way that we can test this, for example, if it's the shoulder joint, do you have full range of motion of your shoulder? Can they go in, in every single one of these degrees? And of course, I've recorded a whole bunch of videos, so go back and look at the Facebook page and my Instagram page, but simple tests for the shoulder. But if it's not, if we don't start fixing the actual joint capsule, nothing else is really going to matter. I mean, yes, there's gonna be a couple things that you can do that will help it make, uh, that'll help make it feel a little bit better, but until we're focusing on the deep, on the actual joint, on you know the ligaments around that actual joint, nothing is going to, that's the start of it. That's step number one, that's the deepest. And of course, if you're experiencing back pain, I've had numerous people contact me this week and say, you know, I've been going to a chiropractor, it hasn't really helped. Um, I went for a bit, I wasn't really seeing any difference. And this is things that people you know, say all the time. Here's the point, right? When you come in for your checkup, I'm assessing your nerve system, which controls everything in your body, by the way, all your joints, and also to make sure that your joints are moving properly. That's only step one, right? So of course, it's very realistic that we could be doing a great job checking and correcting and making sure that the joints around your spine are working properly, which is the deepest level to this, but that's not the only thing. So step number one is to make sure that the joints in that area are working and moving properly. Step number two is to use one of these guys that I started the video with or any type of other device that's going to get into these tissues and start breaking down the scar tissue. This is not going to be comfortable. It's called foam rolling, using your lacrosse ball, getting into the area where you're in experiencing muscle pain, muscle tightness, scar tissue. The fact of the matter is, is you, if you have muscles, your muscles should be sliding back and forth like this. And the way that your body heals is it just lays down a whole bunch of scar tissue and you don't have this anymore. You, it, it's unable to slide on top of um, the muscle fibers aren't able to slide on top of one another. And if you have that, again, it's never going to go away. It's going to be, be there forever. So once you're working on making sure that the joint capsule is fine, you wanna start breaking down the scar tissue and the muscles and the tendons, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna start stretching and actually elongating the tendons so when they heal back, they heal properly, which is the classic static stretch, you know, hamstring stretch, shoulder stretch, 
the different stretches. And the last step to this process, once you're doing all those things, is to start getting that area stronger. Right? You want to have your, whether it's a, a rehabilitation um, program where you're, you know, you're focusing on rehabilitating those special joints, or just getting stronger in general. Those are the principles. Now, of course, like I said, I've attached the video above on how to do this to the low back, and I can in the future, if, if it's interesting to you, I can film other uh, specific joints on how you can do this, but the principles remain the same, which are, let me just recap this for you. Number one, the joint. Make sure the joint is moving properly, make sure the joint capsule is healthy. Number two, start breaking down the scar tissue. It's going to hurt. It's going to suck, but it's going to feel amazing when it's done and when it starts to heal properly. Elongate the tissue, so do your stretches. And number four, make sure you are doing your strength training exercises. Uh, here's what I need you, or here's what I'd like you guys to do. If this was valuable, please like it and share it. Tag somebody, repost it. Um, I think it's super helpful. I think this can help a lot of people. And if you're interested to see how these principles apply in practice, click the link depending on where you're watching, either above my head or below if you're watching me on YouTube, and check out the three exercises that you can do for your low back pain. And as always guys, talk to you soon. You're designed to be extraordinary.